What is happening people, welcome to today's video um, Today I'm going to show you how you can install SKSE64 for Skyrim Special Edition Simple video just to give you some pointers on how to make it an easier installation for yourself So some things you need before you get started um, You'll need 7-zip to unpack the file that you download and to also archive also you'll require Vortex, I recommend using this mod manager because it makes things super simple, super easy. Also at this stage what I would recommend is taking a backup of your game folder. You don't want to be messing with the game files and end up loss in progress. So definitely take a quick backup of that folder, particularly your saves. So to get started you want to head over to skse.silverlock.org and install the latest version for Special Edition. You want to do that by clicking the 7z archive button and that's going to download the file so we'll just open that and we'll bring that to your desktop to make things easier for ourselves so what you want to do is using 7zip extract the file and i'll go ahead and get rid of the old one so open this up and you want to grab the skse 64 loaderexe and you want to navigate to your game folder so in my case games steam steam apps common and skyrim special edition and simply paste that exe in there we'll minimize that for now so next you want to grab your data folder and you want to add to archive and I usually will name this SKSC64 under slash data okay and we'll move that to the desktop we'll get rid of this so using this new folder you've just archived you want to open up Vortex and, dra and drag that folder in and let it do its thing. Click Never Installed and then Enable. Nice and easy. So, next you want to go back into your game folder. And this loader.exe file is going to be what you're going to use to launch the game from now on to enable the SKSE so to make things easier if you right click send to desktop I'll give you a shortcut for it and from here to make it look a bit better go to properties change icon now we get to your game folder the original launcher and we'll use that icon OK apply and that makes it look a bit better for you So done with these files so you can get rid of those and at this stage you're ready to test so simply use the launcher and if you follow the steps correctly the game should launch and you just want to let it load up at this stage you can open up any save let it boot up so that's looking good, no crashes, and it's running. So at this stage you want to hit the tilde key to bring up the console. And you want to type in git skse version. Hit enter. And here you can see it's installed correctly in the version you're running. And simple as that, skse is installed. You want to hit the tilde key again to come out of the console. And you're good to go.